The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Nodulator Pro, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. with Real Agriculture. Today we're at the Kernan Farm with Glenda Cleasy. She's the agronomy specialist with Sask Pulse. How are you doing today, Glenda? I'm good, thank you, Dale. Good. So we're out here uh, because we want to talk a little bit about soybeans and weed control in soybeans. Uh, people started seeding soybeans and uh, because they were uh, Roundup ready, they, they were quite easy to take, take care of the weeds except for volunteer canola. So we just want to talk a little bit about uh, volunteer canola in soybeans today. Thanks Dale. So yeah, one of our number one weeds in Saskatchewan in soybeans is uh, volunteer Roundup Ready canola or glyphosate tolerant canola. And that's because the majority of our soybeans are do have tolerance to glyphosate. And so when you're applying glyphosate, if you don't have anything else in the tank as a mixture with that, you are going to be left with um, any volunteer Roundup Ready canola plants that are in your field. And that's what we see in this uh, plot to my right, where this, this plot was sprayed with a glyphosate pre-seed and then glyphosate again as a second application in crop. And you can see that it looks quite clean with the exception of the volunteer Roundup Ready canola that is present in that plot. So uh, uh, the canola can really have an effect, I think, on the soybeans. Uh, 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 does it affect how the soybeans grow? Well, it does ha have an impact. And what's important to know if you're growing soybeans is soybeans are not a very competitive crop early on. So really it's important to keep your soybean field weed free right from the time of emergence up to about the third trifoliate stage. And I've got an example of a couple of plants here. So this one uh, in my right hand was pulled from this plot beside me that did have two applications of glyphosate applied, um, but is suffering from uh, the impact of weed competition from the, from the volunteer canola. And if you look at the other plant that I'm holding here that has more branches, more pods, um, has a much higher yield potential, that's come from this plot to my left, which has, um, as you can see, not got the weed competition in it. So really illustrating the importance of keeping your field free of weeds early on and the impact that um, those weeds and, and that weed competition can have on your final yield of, the, of your crop. So as you were saying, uh, the, 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 it's really important to control the weeds ahead of the canola, right? So. Uh, when you're spraying, or ahead of the soybeans, I mean. So when you're spraying, you need to make sure that you have clean ground, right? Right. And so then after that, after you've uh, you've seeded, then uh, it still makes a difference uh, as far as what what kind of crop stand you have after that. Y yes, yes. You're, you're really right there, Dale. Um, what's really important, again, with, with soybeans is keeping them weed-free early on until they are able to compete with those weeds in the crop, which will happen as, as they um, mature and reach high, uh, high, later staging. And so what we really recommend for soybean growers is to get something on an early, and that can be either in the fall if you're looking at a residual um, herbicide product, or early in the spring, either as a pre-seed or pre-emerge type product. And that will give you the opportunity to keep it clean as those soybeans are emerging. And then we also encourage, especially depending on your weed spectrum, a second application in crop. And we've got some great examples here in these plots if you'd like to have a look at those. Sure. So as we pointed out, this one did have a pre-seed and an in-crop application, but only of glyphosate, so it didn't control these volunteer canola plants at all. Um, here we had a product put on uh, in tank mix combination with the glyphosate, both pre-seed as well as in-crop, and both of those products had activity on volunteer canola. And so what you can see is because of that in-crop application, we've taken care of any late emerging volunteer canola, and we've got a really nice looking stand in this plot. The next plot over has still got volunteer canola in it, but a less, lesser amount. And that's because it did have a product applied pre-seed that had a tank mix with glyphosate that was able to control those early volunteer canola plants. In crop went back in with straight glyphosate and now we do have extra volunteer canola in that plot because those late emerging volunteer canola plants were not controlled by a tank mix with glyphosate 
post-emergent in the soybeans. Okay, so the, the, the takeaway here is that uh, it is possible to grow uh, glyphosate tolerant uh, soybeans in Saskatchewan even if you have grown uh, 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 glyphosate tolerant canola in the past, uh, you just have to plan ahead. You are absolutely correct and the great news is there's definitely products in the marketplace that you can choose from that are going to best fit your needs for your farm and the weeds that you have in your fields to help manage uh, weeds in soybean crops both pre-seed as well as post-emergent. Okay, thanks a lot, Glenda. This is uh, Dale Leftwich with Real Agriculture. Glenda Cleasy from uh, Sask Falls has joined us today at the Kernan Farm. Thanks again, Glenda. Thanks, Dale. Yeah.